Welcome back to Fallout 4. It's time to do some more quests. At some point, eventually, I will go back on the main quest, but I want to try to get all the other quests that I can or want to do out of the way first. Which doesn't include dependency, which is get Bobby off chems, since I can't seem to do that one, since I failed all the persuasion checks. And this one is to join the Brotherhood of Steel, which I don't want to do, so I'm not going to do that one either. But hopefully I can get these two out of the way. A couple of settler quests. Not always the most exciting quests, but who knows? Something interesting might happen. Might take me to an interesting place. So just to catch you up on a couple things that I did before recording this episode, I sorted my inventory, sold some stuff, bought some ammo, of course. And I also went around to the two new settlements that I had made. Hangman's Alley and County Crossing. I went to those two places, built recruitment beacons and some beds and some water and some food and, you know, just kind of did general stuff to make sure everybody in the settlement is fairly happy, fairly well defended. You can see Hangman's Alley has a ways to go. Happiness is only 14%, which is terrible. But it's okay, it'll get there. They'll be happy. Also, somebody told me that you can actually rename your weapons at the weapons workbench. So my beautiful two-shot sniper rifle has been renamed to Suo Yellows Enkeli which is Finnish for Guardian Angel. I hope Suo Yellows N. Kelly is with me for the rest of the game, and I can keep upgrading it, keeping it current, and keeping it good enough to keep using. Because it is a beautiful weapon, and it's already been with me for so long. Alright, let's get doing some quests. Uh, so I've got to turn one into Preston Garvey. Oh, he's sleeping inside. Oh, he's not sleeping, he's just need something? standing behind the table. Weirdo. I rescued that kidnapped settler. We've got another settlement on our side now. Good. Another win for the Minuteman. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know it, my mm -hmm. In the meantime. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You already know someone who needs help? I've had some bad news. Super mutants raided a settlement. Surprise! Maybe we can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. The Slog Greenskins. Hmm. Well, it's more interesting to fight mutants than raiders. Alright, let's see if we can tear through these quests. I'm not I'm not gonna explore anywhere else. I'm just gonna do these quests. So, Nordhaken Beach, let's see where that is. Have I been to East Boston Police Station? No. Hmm. Well, you know, I said I'm not gonna do anything but do the quests, but. You know, if it's marked on the map, no, 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 no. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the wharf and I'm going to swim straight across the water, just to the settlement. Let's get these quests done. Libertalia. What? Wait a minute. Holy shit! That... Is this freaking water world? This wasn't here before. I've been here before and there was not an entire system of ships. Okay, well, you know what? At least I don't think there's an entire system of ships. Regardless, I said I wasn't going to explore anything else, but that is directly along the way and I can't really help but explore it, so... Oh, fine. I'll explore an interesting thing before doing the quest. Damn you, Fallout. <laughs> Jesus, three hits to the head. Oh, that's a legendary enemy. What is wrong with their hand? Do you see their hand? It's going through the pistol. It's totally misaligned. I love you, Suo Yellow Zengeli. Come on, show your head. Uh, see if I can hit it on the up bob. Uh. Oh. 
moved. Just, just, just die, please. What are you doing? Is that raider trying to do aerobics? Is that like a new thing? Step in and out of cover to burn calories. Peek out, peek out, peek out, peek out. Oh man, come back! I was having fun. What if I could mark them with my recon scope? That would be cool. Gotta say, this game does not make being a sniper easy. The way enemies move is just so... herky-jerky. I can only imagine, if you were playing on a console, or just simply using a controller, even on a PC, wouldn't sniping be, like, practically impossible? You'd have to use vats, but look your chance to hit in vats, it's not exactly great. Oh look, I missed. Surprise. Oh, I was trying to get a moving headshot. Would have felt proud of that one. Made a big mistake, bro. I know dog meat, I know. It's okay, don't worry. Shoot him in the leg. Missing the leg. Shoot him in the... Nothing. Oh shit. Oh, I'm actually really close to dead. Oh my god. Just, uh, fuck, fuck everything. Just get him, dog meat. You hold him down and I will shoot them in the face with a shotgun. Get him, dog meat. Get him. Get him. Ah, you took too long, dog meat. It's okay. I love you anyway. You know what, dog meat? You bloody, crazy, angry looking dog. We are going onto ships, so I feel like you should be more of a pirate, you know? There you go. Pirate doggy. Heads up. I hear something electronic. Might be a turret. Temporarily slows down time during combat when you're at 20% or less health. What's my current left arm? Mm. That's leg. That's right arm. Oh, champion's left arm. Plus one strength and endurance. Oh, I'm definitely gonna stick with that. Yeah. Oh, and I was also going to try on... The fashionable glasses. Eyeglasses give you perception. Fashionable glasses give you charisma. Just how fashionable are the glasses? <laughs> Those are fashionable, huh? 
Um, well, I mean, everybody's got a different sense of fashion. And those do not fit mine. Let's go back. Better. Now I look like a proper nerd. It's such a cool, like, set piece. Bunch of interconnected boats. There's even the Grand Wreck over there. Oh, and there's people. I'm assuming they're enemies just like the ones I just shot were. Raider scum. Mm-hmm. Probably Raider Scum too, right? Yeah, there's no reason to risk it. Might as well wait till I can get a bit closer, go into Vats, see what their name is. Found something. What'd you find? What'd you find? What? What? Oh yeah, I was about to go inside of there. Thank you though. There's a turret. <laughs> what the hell? Those are... Mole rats in cages? Why? Someone still sees me. Where? Somewhere in that boat. Let's go say hello with my shotgun. Uh, 
That's it. Playing games with me, huh? Fucking high for me. You're dead! There's another enemy on this boat, like, super close. I guess not. Pretty sure there's one other enemy over there. For the love of God, stop moving! Why is there an explosion over there, too? They blow themselves up? I think I got lucky with that shot. I think the... The boat, like, absorbed it. Okay, well, we don't have that many shots, and dog meat, I love you, but you keep getting in the way. Excuse me, I've got some sniping to do. Ooh, moving headshot. I feel proud of that. This game seriously does not make sniping easy. No idea what's going on. Taking pot shots at random areas, but they don't even know I'm here. Don't see any more targets. But I'm still under caution, so there must be somebody left.
Hey, dog meat. <laughs> Defying physics. Like a proper doggy. Creep me out. <gasps> What'd you find, dog meat? What? Show me. Show me. Show me. Let me guess, it's that. Mm hmm. Looks like they've got a uh, yeah, little, um, what do you call it? The thing that takes you through the air over to the other thing? It's not a tram, it's a... I don't remember the name of it. A lift, I guess. I guess a lift. look like zombies. They're terrifying. Ew. Oh, dog meat. Finally fell. I knew it would happen sometime. You'll be okay, dog meat. Don't worry. Don't... Oh my god! Dogmeat's dog drowning! Dogmeat, no! What? Come to the surface, Dogmeat! Um... Dog... 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 Dogmeat? Dogmeat? I'm going in. Dogmeat! Dogmeat! What are you doing? S stop! Oh. Where'd he go? Dog me? Dog me? He'll find his way. <gasps> there you are! Oh my god, I just missed him. It'll be okay. Hey, just wait there. Stay right there, okay? Yeah, good boy. Motherfucker! Hmm? Guy sounded a bit angry. Think you're tough? Come on! Well, I did just single handedly kill like a dozen to two dozen raiders. I think I'm pretty tough. I can improve myself.
It's got a Fat Man Plus on. That's probably what would launch the huge explosion that hit the boat that I was on. Ah, it's too heavy. Yeah, it weighs 30. It is worth a lot, though. It's probably worth taking. But I'll dump it for now. See if I can remember to come back for it. No, I'm still carrying too much. All right, I gotta stop picking stuff up. Any crappy weapons I can drop? Pipe auto pistol. Didn't mean to drop a nuke or grenade. That is actually pretty good. There we go. Yoink. Well, sneaking. Nice. Oh, he's named. Wire. Hey, dude, how's it going? Let's have some fun with this. Oh, you seem to be frozen. Feeling chilly? That'll warm you up. Shall I go make him trip on his shoelaces? Let's do it. Just get warmed up over here. Cabin. Oh, that's actually a separate instance. Probably some good stuff in there. I'm just getting started. Wait, how do I get up there? Okay, I don't know where the stairs are, but this might work. Oh, that could probably work. Come on, little girl. Let's but come on, there's gotta be stairs. Or a ladder, or something. Do I have to go into the cabin to actually get up to the top? Maybe I do. Huh, I think I do. Le fusil terribles. I pronounced that perfectly. Bingo. Plus 25% damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. Oh, it's a shotgun. Damn. It's a fire rate. Fire rate's 20. I wonder how that compares to my unlimited shotgun. Gotta dump something, though. I can't move. that. 
that. I'm looking at weight versus value. Alright, good enough. Let's see if Wire has any poetry. There we go. Oh, got lucky. Oh, whoops. May 2082, 2282. So here we are, our new home. Only casualty was one of Anderson's less useful toes. Otherwise, I'd say cleaning the Meyer lurks out of these old hulks went pretty well. Now we just have to figure out what to do next. Been a long time since any of us knew life outside the Minutemen. Oh, whoa. These people used to be with the Minutemen. But General Becker was the only thing holding those folks together. Now that he's dead, it's just a matter of time until the militias start turning on each other. Not worth sticking around for that. But we can make something of this place. I know it. We're going to have to. November? We are running through food a lot faster than we'd planned. People are starting to get hungry. We're rationing, but the scouts need to turn up something soon or we're in trouble. December. I had Anderson and Williams hanged today. Not pleased about exe executing the best guns we still had, but it needed to be done. End of last month, they started finding big caches of food and supplies. We were starving so I didn't ask where it came from. Then today, we get a visit from the Bunker Hill guards. Turns out my boys had been hitting caravans, feeding us the spoils. I gave the guards my word those boys would see justice, and I keep my word. But justice doesn't put food in my people's mouths. Okay. So they broke, broke off from the Minutemen and tried to do good. Tried to be good people but I'm guessing that changed. No fucking more. Another caravan stiffed my boys. This mercenary shit we've been driven to isn't worth it when the bastards don't pay. I tried to get the merchants at Bunker Hill to cut us some slack, to give us something, anything, to eat, but they wouldn't deal. They're in on it, too, I guarantee. No, this ends now. Today, me and the boys make an example. April. Four new recruits today. Said they heard about all the caps the raiders in the bay have been pulling in. Raiders. That's what they called us. And they're not wrong. We're making money hand over fist. Bunker Hill. The caravans. They pay us to do nothing. To leave them alone. This is the best shape we've been in since leaving the Minutemen. General Becker would be sick if he saw us now. But he's dead. And we're alive. I don't feel like writing anymore. It's easy to be good when you've got plenty to eat. But when times get tough, what do you do? Well, we know what they did. No, I'm carrying too much. <gasps> Teddy bear! Come here, I'll give you the dog meat. Let's dump some of the heavier junk. Sort by weight. Yeah, that's fine. Got 11 pounds room. Yeah. 
Yes. Ah, it does lead up, right? Yeah, so that's how you get up to him. You know what? Let's have an ironic kill here. Let's kill him with his own weapon. And also let's compare the damage. So the never-ending powerful combat shotgun does 120 and his weapon does 99. Okay, so mine's better. Still though, poetic justice. How much is that heavy combat rifle worth? 150? Pretty good. Super heavy, though. Gonna dump it. Another terminal. Gotta find the terminal. No way I'm cracking this. Oh, it's master level. Really? Why do you need the terminal? How is the terminal even connected to this thing? There's no wires connecting them. You can even see it's got, like, manual locks and everything. It's weird that you need the terminal to open it. I was supposed to be a master locksmith. And now I'm walking the plank. Dogmeat went to. Let's go down the fast way. Oh, Dogmeat's still waiting for me there. Obediently. Oh, look at him. Heads up. On me. I didn't think he'd actually stay there through multiple instance transitions, but he did. Loyal. Yeah, Dogmi can't follow me across that. It's too narrow. You'll find a way, boy. I believe in you. popping up. Nothing so far, though. Surprisingly. Oh, hey! Well... Oh, 
Oh, right, dog meat. Look alive. I need to give you lots and lots of things. All my extra weapons. And all my junk. And you know what? Why don't you put back on the Stars and Stripes bandana? Actually, I've got a couple more for you here. Yeah, when I was back there, I grabbed all the bandanas that I could possibly find. All the ones I've used before. Those two, red bandana. Yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five bandanas to choose from. Got the green one, the camo one, the red one, skull, and the Stars and Stripes. Let's go with the... Let's go with the red one. Yeah, let's change it up. Okay. I thought by now I'd have like two or three quests done, but nope. It's always something to explore before getting to your destination. We could really use your help. What do you need? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is that it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. Where is this place? Well, we have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. Secure the workshop at Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Okay, where's that? Oh, wow. That is really, really far away. But it's also right next to the Walton Pond. Which I've apparently been to. So, cool. So, something nasty is sold up here. Professor Goodfeels? What? Is that the nasty creature that supposedly lives here? Whoa, man. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god. Man. Movie. Wow, a stereotypically high robot. Do they grow pot here? Whoa, man. Let's see if we can find some information about what this place Got is it. for. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. Log. Alan, we finally sprung a slave from the squares for our Freedom Farm co-op. A Mr. Handy from the Nottaville suburbs. The tin can wigged out trying to go back to his slave owners, almost clued the fuzz onto us. So Johnny noodled it out and zonked his motivation protocols to just be. Now we call him Professor Goodfeels. Just digging the world as it be, owing nothing to nobody. Careful with his other protocols. These cans... These... These cans knuckle... What? These cans knuckle creeps. It, what? These cans knuckle creeps if they go ape. What? What does that sentence mean? These cans knuckle creeps if they go ape. These cans knuckle creeps. These cans knuckle creeps if they go ape. These cans knuckle cre What? Is that even a sentence? Mr. Handy Control. Can change his protocol. A 
I guess knuckle creeps just means like kills creeps. Like these cans kill creeps, I, I guess is what that's trying to say. Alright, so it's already in that protocol, right? The just be protocol. Yeah, so let's set it to guard, I guess. Identifying resident to guard, broadcasting resident location. It's not going to try to kill me, is it? No, we're good, right? Yeah, we're good, Professor Goodfields. May I help you? Greeting. May I help you? Exterminate. Okay, what am I actually supposed to do here, exactly? Just secure the workshop, whatever that means. Hmm. I mean, I could shut down the robot, is that what I need to do? Exterminate! <laughs> what? It's not shut down, it's still talking. Its jets are even still going. Alright, let's just turn the thing back on. So if ghouls start coming out of the woodworks, it can... ...defend us. Let's take a look around. I saw a ghoul's body, and I'm guessing... Whoa! Oh, I saw the red name because I was going to pickpocket it. Thought it was going to try to kill me. Yeah, so it's guarding me, guarding me now. And judging by the dead ghoul, I guess it probably killed the ghoul. Which means there's probably other ghouls. Or a rat roach. Exterminate. Professor Goodfields, you are very annoying. Please be quiet. extra meat from animal kills. Exterminate. Whoa. What's a highly modified weapons and armor in here? Guess I'll take all of it. Okay, uh, I think we're good. What am I supposed to build here? Uh, recruitment beacon?
No, nothing at all, apparently. We're just done. <gasps> Dog meat! Oh, oh! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Look alive. Let's change out your bandana. Camo doggy. Let's go turn in this quest. I guess you're from one of the vaults, huh? You're a kid. Youth. Youth! I've never seen a, a kid at any settlement ever. I didn't even know they existed. Children exist. My mind is blown. I mean, I know I've seen probably like a couple dozen children or something, but I've never seen them at a settlement before. Can I order you around? No, this isn't actually a settlement. I mean, it is a settlement, but it's not like one of the normal ones that I can build stuff in. You're back. Any luck clearing out that trouble spot? If you work, I you cleared eat. that place out it's for as you. As that. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Oh, nice to have some good news around here for a change. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Oh, so now I can actually control this place, huh? <gasps> Does that mean... How do, how do I select you? Can I not select you? I think little Timmy here might be special. Might be a, a special entity. Because I can't seem to select them and have them do stuff like normal, normal people. Yeah, like with this person, C, E, Command, Q, Supply Line, but with this person, nothing. Because I was about to go send him to do the Supply Line, because the idea of a kid being the Supply Line person is incredibly hilarious to me. But apparently I can't do it. Huh. Apparently I can't tell him to do anything. I guess he's just destined to only farm this one patch and that's it for the rest of his life. What if, what if I deleted the gourds, though? What would he start doing? Who knows? Anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to keep whittling down my quest list. <laughs>